this is anatomy. I'm not going to say too much during certain scenes because you have to hear. Um, this is a great, great game. the dialogue because of the setup just like okay I'm in this house well, this is kind of like my house too with the living room on this side I'm so excited to be playing this because I really like this game the first time I saw somebody play it oh it's just kinda, it is kind of like our house a little bookshelf but ours would be under stairs it's still cool like Wait, I can um jump and I can crouch. I have to look like I don't know where the keys are. It's a little awkward for me to use the keyboard, so I'm a little awkward. No, no TV. Not plugged in. Oh, that's a big TV. <gasps> Memories. This is very retro. Decent amount of outlets. That's important. That's an. That's just. We're just. What do they call them? Um. The gal. What was it called? The gallery. The people who were watching a, an operation. I forget. Okay, I can't go in there. I hope the sound is good. Because the first time I saw this. Um, I really had to, I really had to strain to hear. I still liked it, so. Alright, um, so none of these doors open. I'm assuming I don't go upstairs first. I forget. Interesting. Okay, just go straight down this hallway. Oh, there's a kitchen on the same side as my house. Hopefully that'll help me remember, that's why I keep saying it. I'm so bad with directions, even a small map like this. I wonder where I'm supposed to go. Anything in the fridge? No? Alright. Interesting wallpaper. Whoa. tape recorder and a cassette tape okay oh there we go okay in the psychology of the modern civilized human being it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house since as early as the neolithic era humankind has defined itself by its buildings buildings for washing buildings for socializing buildings for protection, even buildings for the commemoration of the dead. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. There's a tape in the dining room. Okay, I hope I didn't mess up any- I don't- I don't want to breathe over that too much. I have a tendency to- no? Okay. There's a tape in the dining room. We rely upon the house. Okay. Did I choose correctly? I was like thinking maybe it is a little bit like my house, even though my house it would be the other way around. It's really a good thing I'm relating this to my house. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, but I, it is good for me because I will remember the layout better. Hopefully. Okay, let's 
go back into the kitchen. Let's, uh, let's play our new tape. See what happens. The house is one of the key elements that separates modern humanity from its more primitive antecedents. No other creature goes to such lengths to create lasting, permanent shelter for itself, nor regards such shelters with such reverence and importance. Why do human beings of our modern age foster this tremendous sympathy toward their homes? There are many reasons, of course, but perhaps it is due in some small part to seeing them as a reflection of ourselves. <coughs> Absolutely. There's a tape in the downstairs bathroom. If I was a bathroom, where would I be? No? Okay. Um... Oh, no, this, oh, oh, okay. Did I go... Did I go the long way? Oh. Alright, there's a nice little circular path here. So, where would the bathroom be? Okay. Front door? Bathroom? No. And you are just to that, so bathroom. Aha, uh -huh. ow. Oh. <gasps> bathroom. Mm. Oh, I'm on the toilet. I actually like the layout of this house. I mean, the one in the game. The anatomy of the house is such that this analogy is less superficial than at first it may seem. To carry it further, if we were to dissect a house as we might a human cadaver, we would find ourselves able to isolate and describe its various appendages and their functions in a decidedly anatomical fashion. There is even a fair number of direct comparisons to be drawn between those organs of a house and those of a human body. <coughs> There's a tape in the garage. Huh. Is this where the garage is? No? Go no? Tape in the garage. Tape in the garage. Tape in the garage. Tape in the garage. I think I went the long way again. Why did I do that? Garage? I don't know why I thought this was the dining room door before. I totally just, because it looked similar, it was, alright. Well, there it is, but, whoa. Empty garage. I didn't even put the ring light on, by the way. I figured it would be better when I noticed that you could still see my face. Crouch. Oops, not jump. Crouch. See. I'm good at I'm good at this. Okay. Um, oops. I, I mean, I knew that. I knew, I knew that. I knew it was right there because obviously when I walked in, I saw it first. Front door. Kitchen. Uh, wasn't there like a shortcut to the kitchen, right? It's like right this way. Not a shortcut, but it just, this is the way I go. That didn't make sense. I'm going to stop now. For example, let us examine the living room. Often the dominant space of a house is ground level, as well as typically the center of activity in a well-populated home. The living room is very much the heart of the house. While a human heart circulates blood to oxygenate the body's extremities, the living room circulates people, 
activity, communication. It is the room most likely to be found beating, as active and vivacious as its name would imply. The comparison is only strengthened when we consider also that the living room is most commonly the room to contain the fireplace, making it additionally a locus of actual physical heat. <coughs> There's a tape in the living room. Okay, so this is it. I'll just go this way. Go to the living room. Hi, living room. Is it there's it's up oh, it's stuck on the geometry a little bit. The living room is the heart. I can appreciate that. Might as well go back the way I came. and dining room as the stomach or digestive system of a house, though this comparison is tenuous. By contrast, the function and analog of a bathroom should be immediately obvious. The highways and corridors of a house are its veins, providing circulation coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to a spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as eyes, and anyone who has ever rounded a bend or a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that it is difficult to shake the impression that the house, through its lightless windows, is a creature capable of vision and intelligence. <coughs> There's a tape on the stairs. Stomach. Digestive. on the stairs. Oh, and there you are. Crouch. Gotcha. So, that voice just compared you to... But it makes sense. Circulation of my arms is kind of funky. Maybe it's because my hallways are cluttered. That makes sense. In a weird way, it does. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch, and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, dreams are dreamt, passions are ignited, epiphanies are experienced in cold sweat at early hours. In the bedroom is where people invariably spend the majority of their time, though comparatively little of it once conscious. <coughs> There's a tape in the bedroom. Is that upstairs? Is that why you were leading me to the stairs? Because I have not seen a visual on this floor, and I think I've gone in a lot of doors, right? Just check. There's so many rooms. Am I in the wrong place? Maybe. No, I am not. The bedroom. The bedroom. It's the mind. It's a very large bedroom. You do so much with this space. What a free and clear mind you must have. If you're hearing Abby in the background, yes you are. Let's go this way because it's faster and I actually remembered that. 
All right. And yet, this analogy is an incomplete one, for obviously the mind is an exceedingly complex thing. If the bedroom represents the thinking, dreaming part of the brain, then it is the basement that represents those lower, unconscious parts. The basement is dark. It is buried. It is a place full of cobwebs where memories are stored. A poignant comparison, truly. Often the unnerving uncertainty that comes with considering the deeper aspects of the human psyche is not unlike gazing down at the swimming blackness pooled at the bottom of a basement stairwell. It is a place we spend our childhoods filling with monsters that will lay for years in patient silence. It is a place that, barring some specific errand, we seldom ever want to go. There's a tape in the basement. Where does that go again? Is that right, 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 right here, right? Oh, is that not the basement? This is the basement. What was that other door? Maybe I'll find out. Maybe I won't. Basement. Is that the tape? Yeah. Got it. Um, I think it was going in this direction. Regular basement with some stuff. Of course, this comparison, though appropriate, is a very heavy handed one. And often the basement is little more than a storage space littered with the corpses of spiders and wood mice. While poets and psychoanalysts no doubt dread the thought of a dark basement. In truth, it is the bedroom, the waking mind, that place of dreams, which is actually the most frightening of all. In the master bedroom. And something here just made a noise at the same time. That's always fun. Master bedroom. Upstairs. Or is it that door that wasn't opening? Oh no, here we go. This is quite well. Well. Red. Red. I'm walking. I can't even tell. This is a large room. This is a very large room. the tape. Thanks. What's that? Okay. Oh. Teeth. Are you about to tell me something? Of our lives. 
anything might stand beside us. Watch us. Keep us company until dawn, and we would never perceive it. We can only pray that the house will not let such things carry on as we sleep. In this way, during these hours, the bedroom seems less like a mind and more like a mouse. For it is here that the house is most likely to betray us. It is here that we place ourselves most at the house's mercy and spend each night hoping that it will not bite down. So the game closed. And I started it with the same intro. Same house and everything. I'm here again. Now I know where everything is. So I'll just go right to the kitchen. In the psychology of the modern civilized human being, it is difficult to overstate the significance of the house. Since as early as the monastic era, humankind has defined the era of the world. But of all the structures that mankind has invented for itself, there is little doubt that the house is that which it relies upon most completely for its continued survival. The dining room is next. Yeah, the dining room is next. Plates. Oopsie. I just want to touch it. Oops. Don't give me much to interact with. I just didn't know that was a problem. Can I open it yet? Okay. Actually, I don't need to go this way, but I, I have it open now. Doesn't it sound great? Downstairs bathroom. Okay. Hey. I'm thinking the homeowner might need to go to the doctor based on analogies and symbolism. Like the house has a cadaver. I forgot, was it the living room next? I forgot what's next. Uh, was it you? No. Oh, I forgot. Or is it just a. Uh, It wasn't the garage. Oh, oh, you're just a closet that wasn't open before. 
Wait, so does that mean all the doors upstairs that were unlocked? I mean, that were locked are unlocked now? Okay, we have this room, which was like a mine. No, no, this is the master bedroom. What am I talking about? Oh, that looks like fun. It's not in here. Okay. The doors are just only locked. Oh. Oh. Wait. What? <laughs> I don't know what was happening there. Let's. Oh. We have another bathroom with a real problem. Looked like it, it was a nice bathroom at some point. Somebody loved it. Another bedroom. Ooh. Wow. The green room. I like it. down to sleep. Okay. Is that a mosquito or some sort of tick? I, I just... Okay, this is just all off kilter. Well, oh yes. Mm, this house is, whoa, oh, I, did I just walk through? Yeah, the cracks are just everywhere. Is the house okay? Oh, I don't know how that, is the house okay? Should I go to the tape recorder I found in here, or should I go downstairs? Okay, I have to go downstairs. Sure. Mm-hmm. It's gonna leave all these doors open. It's like the others just let them all through. Okay. Oh boy. Fun sound. tape in the living room. Also, that music. Lovely. That is the basement. You know? Can I put the TV on? <gasps> Can I put the TV on? Can I, can I, the tape? I just, I can just turn it on. Oh, cool. Could I, could I do that before? Wait. Oh. Ooh. <gasps> this makes me, that uh, just made me nostalgic for reasons, but. Eh. I'm sick. like the layout of this house. The division presented rejection and dialogue room at the stomach or digestive system of the house. 
that is compared to its tenure. By contrast, the function of an analog of a classroom should be immediately obvious. The highways and corridors of a house are its vein, providing circulation, coursing throughout its frame. A staircase bears more than a passing resemblance, both physically and symbolically, to its spine. The windows of a house serve much the same purpose as the heart, but anyone who has ever rounded a bend in a long drive and come suddenly face to face with a tall, dark manor will tell you that the house of a creature is capable of Stairs? We on the stairs? No. I like the light though. Are we in here? No. I just want to know what's going on with this. I'll just take you then. I'll just, I'll just take you and I'm just gonna... Wrong way. I'm just gonna go down the stairs. And back towards the kitchen. All these fun new noises we're having. The bedroom is perhaps the room that most eludes direct comparison in this fashion. At a stretch and allowing for a bit of poetic sympathy, it might be said that the bedroom is not unlike the human mind, or those parts of it which dictate thought and imagination. In the bedroom, Joe, 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 Joe. I dream that there are teeth all all over me, everywhere on me and in me, like cysts or bone stars. They're loose, but I can't remove them because I have no hands. I look out through the bedroom window and I see a truck approaching. A young man steps out, approaches and enters through the front door. His body is covered in swollen ticks the size of quarters. He's walking through the downstairs hallway and laughing. He begins urinating on the wall. He spits on the carpet. He's moving through the first floor, breaking and upsetting things. He goes to the basement and stands at the top of the stairs. I'm angry at him, so I slam the door and he falls down. I can feel his bones snapping. The ticks are bursting, losing all black blood everywhere. I can feel them being ground up, dissolved and torn, splitting and shredding. I leave the door closed. I close my eyes and try to sleep. The teeth continue growing on me until there is nothing left of me but teeth and gums and sinew. The basement is dark. Basement is dark. <laughs> don't don't drop me down. And it shut. This doesn't look familiar. Oh, this is the bedroom. This is the master bedroom. 
Oh, well that's bigger now. Everything looks really good. You look great. Oh, you look great. What's the weird door? Does it open now? No. Do you open? Even with your whatever happening. Should I go to, should I go to the should I, should, I, should I go to the kitchen? There's not mm, nothing going on in that bathroom. Should I go to the kitchen? Or maybe I should go to the kitchen. Maybe I should go to the kitchen. That's that's some picture going through the wall. Mm. That looks cozy. Hmm. Windows are getting bigger for, for some reason. I'm just gonna go to the kitchen. I didn't hear anything. No weird extra noises, I don't know what I'm talking about. I can't open that door. Look at that door. Oh. Attractive. Oh. Nice storage. Nice storage you got. Okay, the restroom. At least some things still work. <laughs> If you were really here, you know what you'd be doing. I thought that was a light, and then I realized it was a plate. Wait, can I, before I go to the, before I go to the kitchen, is there a living room light I can turn on just to make this I wonder if I can... No, I can't. I was kind of hoping it was like an image of something that I could figure out this way. I love it. I love it. That's great. Can I turn you on? My house wouldn't do this to me because I never leave. <laughs> That's I can I go to the kitchen now? Been meaning to do that. Okay, you're still here. I don't have to worry about a chair anymore. I mean, that's the plus side. The plus side. <laughs> um. Right -o. That's a lamp. Does it turn on? <laughs> Some more storage for me. Okay. Um. 
not positive where I should go. I will be led. I'll, or I'll just find it pretty quickly, hopefully. It's beautiful. Something's glowing. Is it from the light downstairs? Oh, here's oh. All right. Oh. That's just what that is. Just some screaming. Okay. Oh, I get to hear that too. Cool. What am I hearing here? Huh. Am I above the kitchen, maybe? that because I don't know why. I'm going to go back downstairs. This doesn't happen. Okay. Turn off the bathroom. Is there something in here now? No. Should I come back to you? Those are fun noises around here. Oh. Oh. The dining room. You're right. I forgot. You're right. That was like the first. I went everywhere. I just had to see. So we had dining room and then we had last time we had bathroom, didn't we? Yeah. Bathroom. Okay. Sure wish I could sit down. Getting a little tired. I'm sorry. I'm just, uh, I'm not trying to hurt you. this way. We're no longer screaming, right? Good. Oh, we are. Can I stop here? Did I miss this before? The lighting changed. Let's go back downstairs. To avoid that sound. Let's 
some fun noises. It's lovely. This is a lovely home. didn't come back. I think the house is feeling a little abandoned. darker and then oh and then it changed no more play oh this is only one place I can go then what happened last time I came down here or try to. I'm gonna go this way. I'm looking for a tape. There is an important distinction that must be drawn between the words deception and vivisection. A distinction that would appear to be lost on you. Your purpose was to listen. And yet at every turn you have pride, you have prodded, and you have interfered. Have you not been paying attention? Did it not occur to you that as an organism existing within a greater organism, your intrusion would be felt? And still you harassed. And now, like the wayward spider who witlessly settles upon a sleeper's tongue, you will be swallowed. Because the truth is this. When a house is both hungry and awake, every room becomes a mouth.
took me a long time to get to that. I just can't do anything. Start it back up. Same thing happens. And you can wait for a recording, but you're not going to get anything anymore. The only way is to delete everything and start fresh. That was anatomy and I hope you enjoyed it. I really liked this game the first time um, because it's just creepy and you're just like waiting like what's gonna happen what's gonna happen and what's gonna happen is an interesting story that makes your house creepier. <laughs> so have fun tonight. <laughs> Bye.